Isometries are transformations that preserve congruence. The transformation takes a figure and moves it to its image. Some transformations produce congruent figures, some don't. Isometries preserve congruence. The three isometries we are studying are reflections, rotations, and translations. The first isometry we're looking at is a reflection, and this is a reflection of this triangle, triangle ABC, over the y-axis. A reflection takes a figure and produces a congruent figure as if you had picked it up and flipped it over the line of reflection. Each point will be the same distance away from the y-axis on the other side of the line of reflection, on the other side of the y-axis, than it is here. So C is two units to the right of the y-axis, and C prime will be two units to the left. B is four units to the right on the y-axis, and B prime will be four units to the left. Here is the actual reflection, and as we described, C prime is the same distance away from the y-axis as C is. A prime is the same distance away from the y-axis as A is. And B prime is the same distance from the y-axis as B is. So it's really the x-coordinates that are the only thing that's changing. It seems funny, but the only thing that we need to change when we reflect over the y-axis is the x-coordinate. Notice that a prime looks just like a, but the x-coordinate is now negative 4 instead of positive 4. b prime looks just like b, except the x-coordinate, again, is negative 4 instead of positive 4. And c prime has negative 2 instead of positive 2. All the y-coordinates are the same. The rule is written this way. Every point in the form of x comma y, like 4 comma 5, becomes negative 1 times x comma y. The y doesn't change. The x coordinate is multiplied by negative 1. Now we're going to reflect a prime, b prime, c prime over the x axis. And just like before, when we do a reflection, this line of reflection is now the x-axis. Every point will be the same distance away from the x-axis on the opposite side as the original one is. So b prime is one unit away from the x-axis, and it will be b double prime will be one unit away after the reflection. C double prime will still be three units away, but it will be on the other side of the axis. A double prime will still be 5 units away, but it will be on the other side of the x-axis. Here is A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. Notice that the original figure is still ABC. We reflected ABC over the y-axis, and we have the single prime. It's the first reflection after the original. Then we decided to reflect this new figure over the x-axis because these are named a prime, b prime, c prime. The new reflection is a double prime, b double prime, c double prime. And notice now when we reflect over the x-axis, it's only the y-coordinates that are changing. So x stays negative 4, but y goes from 5 to negative 5. In B, the negative 4s are the same, but positive 1 goes to negative 1. And in C, the negative 2s are the same, but positive 3 goes to negative 3. Point C double prime is negative 2, negative 3. C prime is negative 2, positive 3. So again, we have that funny relationship. When we're reflecting over the x-axis, only the y-coordinate is changed. So any point that starts out with x comma y 
will end up with x comma negative 1 times y. Okay, the last reflection will be a reflection of triangle DEF over the line y equals x. This reflection works the same way as the others, but it's not as obvious what to do to the coordinates to make sure each point is equidistant from the line of reflection as its image. Notice, however, that E is on the line of reflection, so its image will be itself. Okay, so now we see the reflection triangle D prime, E prime, F prime. Again, notice that E, because it had a zero distance from the line y equals x, it's on that line. Its reflection has to do the same thing, so its reflection is itself. The rule we have to follow is that every point x comma y goes to y comma x. This simply means that whatever was the y coordinate in the original point becomes the x coordinate. Whatever was the x coordinate in the original point becomes the y coordinate. In using this rule, we see why 2 comma 2 stays 2 comma 2, because the x and y are the same. The point D, which is at 4, 7, goes to D prime at 7, 4. The point F, which is at 2, 5, goes to the point, its image, F prime, at 5, 2. That is the end of Reflections.